Warning. The green screen effects in the following video are highly professional. Hello and welcome to the last Swedish newscast of Youth News Europe. I'm Ashkin. And I'm Edwin. This newscast is gonna be all about abortions, contraceptives and parental leave. The most common type of contraceptive in Sweden is the pill, closely followed by condoms. The pills are used approximately 0.5 million times by women daily, preventing them from getting fertilized. If the contraceptives fail to work, you can always go through an abortion. Abortions were illegal in Sweden until the year 1938. Today, around 35 to 38 thousand abortions, abortions are done yearly in Sweden most commonly on women between the ages 20 and 24, followed by the ages 25 to 29. The amount of abortions has increased significantly since 2005, from 30,000 per year up to approximately 40,000. There are many different types of contraception available for different individuals today. We interviewed people on different ages on the streets of Stockholm and, they, and asked which type of contraception they thought was the most common one. These are the answers we got. What's the most common contraceptive among youngsters in your country? Con condom, bar, coolie, something else. Condom. What is the most common contraceptive amongst youngsters in your country? Condom, bar, coil, something else. Uh, I think it's condom. Now Kilda's going to go through all the answers from the asked question. Do you know how much parental leave is approximately provided in your country? There are the answers we got from the 130 people when we asked them this same question. As seen, most people, more than one third, thought the condoms were the most used contraceptive, followed by the bar and the coil. Not a single person had thought of something else being the most common type. The most common type of contraception is actually the pill. So why did so many people think it was a condom? Where well, society treats it as a good protection for uh, use during sexual intercourse, which it is. But unfortunately, many people don't use the condom. In fact, it may be that couples rely on the properties of the pill and don't use condoms to minimize the satisfactory during intercourse. This is not very wise, since the pill doesn't always work and it can increase the risk of a woman being unwantedly fertilized. This means that the risk of a female getting pregnant when not wanting to increases. The pills are used by approximately 0.5 million women in Sweden daily, which prevents them from getting fertilized. But there are also several other types of contraception that can be used to prevent pregnancy. It could be difficult to find out what you want, since all bodies react differently to different types of contraception. That led us to asking people where they would seek information about contraception. These are the answers we received. Where would you get information on contraception? We asked 144 people this question. Looking at this graph, we noticed that most of them would seek information from school. This could be teenagers that are in school and adults which have already completed their studies, but would have sought help from their school when they could. The second most common answer was elsewhere, followed by the internet, friends and family. Why is it that most people go to school when it comes to information about contraceptives? Why not friends or family? Well, it would be logical to say they don't find comfort in asking such questions to a family member or a friend. And it doesn't apply to everyone, though. Teachers, on the other hand, might be seen as guides by many, uh, including teenagers. And uh, that's why they rely on them for uh, talking about uh, sensitive things. Teachers and all other workers in non-private schools in Sweden have professional secrecy. This means that they aren't allowed to utter anything private, verbally, or in other, any other way that has been told to them by a student. This law, or rule, on itself is very comforting to many students, since there's no risk of all the information spreading to others. There were two more questions in our interviews. 
Uh, one regarding abortions in Sweden, and the other one about parental leave. The first one is as following. What is the percentage of abortion done in your country between the age of 15 and 20? 10 to 19 percent, 20 to 29 percent, 30 to 39 percent, 40 to 49 percent, or 50 to 59 percent? I think it will be between 50 and 59 percent in Sweden. What is the percentage of abortions done in your country between the age 15 and 20? 10 to 19 percent, 20 to 29 percent, 30 to 39 percent, 40 to 49 percent, or 50 to 59 percent? Um, <laughs> uh, I'm guessing 10 to 19 percent. What is the percentage of abortions done in your country between the ages 15 and 20? Almost one third of the people we asked gave the answer 40 to 49 percent. Almost one fourth answered 20 to 29 percent. And one fourth answered 30 to 39 percent. 16 percent answered 10 to 19 percent. 6 percent answered 50 to 59 percent. Why is that? The answer is both logical and simple. It's because younger people find certain, such fact being unnecessary since they have no intentions of having a child at that age. Of course, along with most elders, married couples and parents, some teenagers and young, younger people do indeed know how much parental leave is provided in Sweden. Each parent has the right to stay at home with their child for 240 days in total. This means that they have a combined amount of 480 days. If one parent wishes to have more days of parental leave, it is possible by transferring days from one parent to another. Up to 180 days can be transferred from one parent to another out of 240, not more. Uh, this is because 60 days are reserved for each parent to have a minimum amount of days away from work. Parental leave must be requested at least two months before one wishes to receive days off. It then ceases to be valid until the child is one and a half years old. After that, parents have the right to short, to short their working hours by up to one-fourth of the general working time until the child has turned eight or finished the first year. Do you know how much parental leave is approximately provided in your country? 48% answered no, 52% answered yes. Even though a decent amount of people know how long they can stay away from work to be with their child, many don't. This has been the last newscast of Youth News Europe Sweden. I'm Ashken. And I'm Edwin. This is Comenius Youth News Europe. Your, Your concern, concern, our focus. focus. This has been the last newscast from Youth News Europe Sweden. I'm Edwin. And I'm <laughs> This has been the last newscast from Youth News Europe Sweden. I'm Ashton. And I'm Edwin. Thank you for watching this last Cartoon Network episode of Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I mean.